Ayo, what's up? I'm Cool Pikachu, and welcome to my speed draw of Pokemon Subspecies. This series will all be going through the whole Johto Pokedex, designing four different variants of each Pokemon individual. Next up, we got the Bagworm Pokemon, Pinaco. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. When I first looked at it, I thought that drawing this one would give me trouble like Draftberg did. But thankfully, it ended up not being too bad. For the designs, I wanted to base them off of different pine cones. I ended up deviating from that idea quite quickly because the main difference between pine cones, from what I saw at least, was different sizes. And I didn't want to do that, so what I did instead was just change up the scales of the pine cone to look like different edges of different shapes. The first one is the tri edge. It's called that because the creator of this design was not that creative in coming up with a name. For this one, I shaped the scale to look like a triangle. I gave it a slightly more greenish color just to give it a little more variation from the standard pine co. The next one is the needle variant. I completely changed the shape of the scales to only have one edge in order to form that pointy look. This one has a darker greenish color because I thought it looked good with its sharp appearance. And here we've got the round edge variant. This one was really fun to draw for me because it had no edges. And I really like the smooth look. The color is green, again, to just give more of a variation from the standard Pinaco. And lastly, we've got the Thorn variant. This one was the only one that I got a lot of influence from a real life pine cone. I looked at certain pine cones and some of them had these pointy things at the tip. So for this one, I dramatized that by adding a spike on the edge of the standard pine co scale.
For the color, I gave it the greenish look mainly because it was on opposite ends of the blue one. Honestly, the reasoning between the different shades of all these pine co is just to get more variation and to look a little more appealing when they're all lined up. And there you have it, a little explanation of each subspecies of Pineco. This Saturday, we've got its Evolution Fortress, so don't forget to give that like button a little electric shock down below, and if you want to see more of my videos, join the Pika Clan by subscribing. Just remember to keep it cool. Catch you all later.